Okay, so we're about to go into the freeway. Now, before the freeway, there's a ramp over there, okay? So, uh, okay, now press the braking because going downhill, uh, you need to control the speed by touching the braking. See that stop sign ahead? Okay, so we will make a right turn there, okay? So, we will drive in the freeway. Now, prepare to stop behind the limit line. Now, harder. Good job. That's it. Now, first come, first serve because it's always stop sign. Now, let's go. Okay, so this is the ramp, okay? Now, the ramp, they call that one as an acceleration road, okay? Okay, so I'm still driving with Richmond right now. Okay, so um, it means if it's an acceleration road, this is the uh, where the area where you are trying to match your speed that is already in the freeway. Now, you see that uh, one arrow over there? Right there we pass by? They call that one as uh, immediate merge. Okay, now signal to the left. Good, you did great. See that? You're doing good. So this is the freeway 15. So this is north and south. Okay, so going San Diego it is uh, south and going uh, LA is north. Okay, so the, the major freeway like uh, 15 north or, or, or uh, like if the if the freeway is uh, odd odd numbers like 15 5 1 6 3 they are north and south it means they're connected to state to state okay okay see you did good okay so uh, the left lane all the way to the far left is tend to run faster okay now the right side lane is tend to run a little bit sl yes slower that's why all the trucks supposed to be on the right side lane okay but if you are in the fast lane now remember that the the goal in the freeway is go with the flow of the traffic right but if you are for example you're driving in the left lane the faster lane now if everybody is driving like 85 miles an hour you're gonna have to go with the flow of the traffic okay otherwise you start moving into the right side lane okay but you have to remember that every time uh, you are uh, 10 miles above the speed limit is a passable ticket now over here the speed limit in 15 is like 70 miles an hour okay but lots of people drive here like fast like 85 90 okay but you don't you don't have to do that okay so anyway if you're driving in the faster lane and everybody's driving like uh, 85 miles an hour remember that the police will pick one of those okay now if that day is your bad day they will pull you over even if you go with the flow of the traffic because it's an over speed limit okay you stay inside of your lane right there okay so remember that we talk about this uh, uh truck that is not good to drive next to it and behind it and right in front of it because it's dangerous if you're driving behind it you cannot see ahead if you're driving next to it the blind spot is so big so we're gonna have to make a lane change now if it's crowded look over the shoulder okay good yeah so make sure that you look over the shoulder and make sure it's clear when you make a lane change so you take your time you don't do rushed okay uh, jumping is not good like other people does when they signal they move right away you you shouldn't do that when you turn the signal you look into your rear view mirror and look at your side mirror and then over the shoulder and when you know it's clear don't hesitate you go okay because if you hesitate and it's traffic the cars behind you or the drivers behind you will aggravate it Okay, because uh, they're gonna say, are you gonna go in or not? Like that. So that's why you don't hesitate when you make a lane change. Okay, so the spacing, if your speed limit right now is 70 miles an hour, so your spacing has to be like five seconds. So that way it will give you time to react. Just in case they slam the brake ahead okay it's easy to drive in the freeway huh you think it's easier to drive in the freeway than the public road yes that's true because over here all you have to do is look ahead 
and uh, make but that but make sure that you are aware of your surroundings especially for those motorcyclists because the motorcyclists can drive right in the line okay and they appear in your window you don't even know where they came from so that's why sometimes when you make a lane change you're gonna have to go use the preview thing okay so the preview thing is you're gonna have to look over the shoulder first if it's uh, if it's clear and then when you know it's clear you turn the signal on and then you look again if it's still clear then you move okay so that that's it so you are you are so uh, sure that uh, nobody there okay if you do preview that is very helpful for the motorcyclist because sometimes even if the motorcyclist is on the other side they can go around you and you don't even know that because they're fast that's why it's not good to drive motorcyclist you think you're gonna drive motorcyclist a uh, motorcycle yeah don't drive motorcycle motorcycle is dangerous yeah look at that you're 80 miles an hour that's good and you're confident right yeah because you know the rules okay so driving is uh, you have to avoid pressing the brake okay unnecessarily because if you press the brake what is the light that will come on on your bumper red. yeah the red the bright red now if somebody sees that behind you they're gonna press the brake also now the uh, people behind them will press the brake also because they see that they press the brake now if you do that unnecessarily then you will create the traffic for no reasons now when is that one uh, happens when there's an accident okay for example the accident is already on the on the side you know even if they are already on the right side even if there's nothing in the road people still press the brake why because they have to look what's going on that's why it's not good to be nosy you know that's why the the booklet of the DMV says no rubber neck okay you did you read that no rubber neck that uh, no rubber neck did you encounter that one yeah because of uh, most of the people they look and that creates traffic that's why if you see there's a traffic that's what they do so it's not good okay so we're gonna be driving all the way maybe uh, Pomerado Road or Mara Mesa, something like that. It's easy. It's crazy. Okay, so if it's crowded and you have to make a lane change, now you feel like you cannot make a lane change because it's if there's a car every four seconds, there's a car over there. Now, you feel like it's impossible. It's not true because um, what you, there's a technique of that one okay so what you're gonna do is if it's traffic you're gonna have to wait for the car that you're gonna use as a guide okay so for example you're gonna make a lane change to the left and then and then uh, you feel like you cannot go in because it's true so traffic there's a car in every five seconds so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to um, look onto your left side for example you're gonna make a lane change right now you see this not yet okay you see this car coming to your left yep. or the white car yep. as soon as he line up to you you turn on your signal so you wait until he line up to you and then as soon as he's passing by you glide in behind him okay signal good and glide in right now yeah like that see that so that's how you make a lane change even if there's a car in every four or five seconds you can still make a lane change but you have to do that technique because when when the car line up to you then you turn your signal on it's visible to the drivers behind you so they can give you a space so as soon as you uh, as soon as the car passing by you glide you glide in behind it and then as soon as you're inside that's the time you adjust your spacing okay so but that's an advanced kind of driving though some people doesn't teach that one because it's a little dangerous but I do okay so now 
once in a while, 10 to 15 seconds, you're gonna have to glance to your rear view mirrors so you will know what's going on behind you. Some people tailgating, you know, there's a lot of people who do that.